All right, today, today we're going to make some sort of something along those lines. Not sure. I'm gonna try and remake it with uh, like a cereal box because it's a little bit more formable because I'm gonna be making the actual bends on the edges, so. But we'll see how I might come up with something different, but game plan is to make a switch. A switch that will go right here. Switches, switches are gonna be like right here. I just gotta figure something out. I'm perfectly fine with having the backside open because uh, I'm gonna do uh, was that that braided wire loom for everything. So I think it look good. Plus, if you look, like uh, I've got all these wires that run down. So those all get redone too. They're gonna get the uh, braided wire loom on them as well. All right, I think that's what we're gonna do today. I'll get started on that. so far I'll go inside the car and uh, see how I want the angles to be I'm gonna be sitting in there like this and then these will fold down on the sides and then they'll screw in through the sides This is how it'll turn out. It's kind of hard to see the angle. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a little bit up there, but that's all right. Kind of want them out of the way anyhow, since they're not like locked out switches or nothing like that. But should turn out pretty good. All right, now the. Open it up and put it on metal and then bend the metal and see how it turns out. bring you up to speed here uh, my phone died um, and then I went to test fit it in the car and my dumbass folded all the shit backwards so it angled towards the passenger side instead of the driver's side so that was fucking awesome but uh, yeah, I just flattened it all back out again and then uh, refolded it back the other way and uh, I started welding it up on the edges and that's pretty much what I'm doing right now right there so Waiting for it to cool so I can test fit it again to make sure that it's sitting good. Then I'll finish welding, finish welding this stuff up, and uh, yeah, once it's uh, welded up, then I just got a flap disc down the edges, and uh, then I got to figure out how I'm going to mount the switches. Well, I mean, and now I'm drill. I got to figure out where I'm going to drill the holes, basically. So, all right. We'll keep going. All right. Uh, 
that's pretty much how it's going to sit. Don't mind the ugly welds. They'll get cleaned up. Because uh, there's such a big gap in there, I had to basically just kind of spot weld until I built up enough to combine them. So it didn't look, doesn't look the prettiest, but it'll look good when it's done. That's all that matters. And it's well overbuilt for holding switches, so it's some pretty thick steel. So, but all right, I'll get this a little bit here tacked up some more because it was a little bit of a stretch. Um, but yeah, that's looking good. It's still a little toasty. But all right, we'll continue welding. All right, starting to fire in my car 101. And these will just get screwed into the side with these same screws. Same as this side. Um, yeah, they turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm trying to remember, I think I need five or six, five or six switches. Um, I have a momentary toggle switch for the starter. Um, then I'll have a switch for um, lights, accessory, fuel pump, uh, fans. That's it. So maybe five. I don't know. But that'll be the next step is figuring out where I'm going to position all my switches. And then get those mounted in there. Um, still waiting on some relays. I ordered some relays from China. And they're taking their sweet time. I ordered them like a month ago. So I'm probably going to order some new ones. Just because I'm impatient. And I'm pretty sure I actually need more than what I ordered. I think I only ordered five. I think I drew up my schematics the other day and I need like 11 or something like that. So I need a couple. So, but, all right. This will probably be it for this one. Um, like, comment, subscribe.